film has been great, but this film takes it to a new level. <laughs> I've never seen anything like this before. <laughs> this third film is just amazing and really cool. You are in danger. Grave danger. In this one, Harry has got a lot of problems. First of all, I mean, he thinks somebody's actually trying to kill him. Sirius Black may not have put his hands to the potters, but he's the reason they're dead. And now he wants to finish what he started. Uh -huh. I'm imprisoned in, in Azkaban and escape, and I guess everybody thinks that I, in fact, went to the dark side. He's a murderous, raving lunatic. Thanks, Ron. That's the story unfolds. There's all sorts of new developments along the way. One of the things that has made the third film different is there's a new director. He came with a lot of new ideas for all of us. The camera is going to move into a very wide shot of Hogsmeade, of you two guys walking. I want to try to tell the movie with a style where it was as fluid as possible. As if the camera comes, say, okay, give me your hand, and the camera just takes you through the whole ride, from the first frame to the last frame. I wanted to make absolutely certain we were being continuing to be faithful to the books, but at the same time, we're giving each director who comes in a little more freedom. <laughs> Alfonso was very respectful of the world that Chris Columbus had created. And another quality that unites Chris and Alfonso is that they both are children at heart. And I think um, they brought that childlike sense of wonder to the films. In the first two movies, it was pretty much within the school, which allowed you to build sets and, and to make it work. Part of the difficulty of this movie was that the third act really took place outdoors. So we made a decision to go to Scotland. I'm not sure that Joe Rowling ever says Hogwarts is in Scotland, but the implication is all there that, that it's in Scotland. So it really was time, I think, that we firmly established ourselves there. We shot everything with very wide angles, and one of the reasons of that is that I wanted the context that is Hogwarts and Scotland to have like a, a really a predominant role in this film. So we would see the characters together with a very sharp and huge Hogwarts in the background or the really dramatic landscape of Scotland.